guests who all ask for just a sliver of the pumpkin pie, why not give everyone their own mini pies? My version is just as delicious as its full-sized cousin, sweetened with maple syrup and topped with a crunchy pecan streusel. In this video, I'll show you how to make it mini. First, we'll make the filling. I like to mix it in a four cup Pyrex measure because it makes filling the tarts easier. I have the pumpkin puree already in the mixing bowl and I'm going to add the maple syrup and some spices. This is cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. And of course, a pinch of table salt. Whisk that together. Then I'm going to add one egg, some pure vanilla extract, and then whisk it until it's just blended. Okay, that's it. So for the crust, you can use store-bought dough or you can use homemade like I have here. If you're using homemade, you want to make sure you roll it to just a little thicker than an eighth of an inch. So to make the rounds, I'm going to use a three and a half inch cookie cutter. It makes it just the right size to fit into our standard size muffin tins. So stamp out as many as you can. You'll need 10 altogether. I like to use parchment when I roll out pastry of any sort because it prevents it from sticking to the table. Eight. We're going to gather the scraps together and then roll them out for our remaining two circles. Okay, now we have our 10 rounds, so we're gonna line the muffin tin. It's a standard size muffin tin that I've lightly greased with some cooking spray. You can use a little melted butter instead if you'd like. We're gonna pick up a round, arrange it on top of the muffin tin, and then gently press it in using your fingers. You wanna make sure there are no air bubbles in the bottom, and if it gets too sticky, just use a little flour on your fingertips. And then press it firmly up against the side of the muffin tin. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect around the sides and it doesn't have to be even. These are nice rustic little mini tarts. You'll notice that the dough comes up to just about a quarter of an inch from the very top of the muffin tin. When you're pressing in the dough, sometimes you'll find that the dough pleats up or bunches up in a, in a spot. Not a big deal. Just press against it as best you can and flatten it out. It'll be fine. Now we're going to pour the filling into the crusts. So the filling comes up about halfway into the crust. Now these guys are ready for the oven. We're gonna bake the tarts at 375 degrees. And you'll notice I have my oven rack in the lower third of the oven. They bake until the crusts are golden brown and the centers jiggle just slightly when the pan is nudged. We're gonna let the tarts cool on a cooling rack for about 10 minutes. And while those guys are cooling, we're gonna make the streusel topping. Technically, it's not really a streusel because it's not baked along with the tarts, but it's super easy and it's a really nice finishing touch. It's a combination of toasted pecans that are chopped, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of brown sugar. Put them all in my food processor, and I'm just going to process them until they're nice and finely ground. enough. Okay, so I think we can take our mini tarts out of the pan. You want to use the tip of a paring knife or a small metal spatula to lever the tarts out without damaging the crusts. Move them to a serving tray. You can serve the mini tarts warm as they are right here or you can cool them to room temperature and serve them that way. Either way, make sure to sprinkle them with some of the streusel topping just before you serve them.